ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk tie ends used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. In order to change the outer tie rod end on your vehicle, you must lift the front of your vehicle and remove the wheels. This will give you full access to the steering system. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. You can now see the outer tie rod end. These elements can often get jammed, so use a penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. With a marker, trace a line between the axle joint and the tie rod end. It will help later during the disassembly and reassembly process. Using an adjustable spanner, release the holding nut on the tie rod end. It is there to stop any form of rotation of the two pieces towards each other, as this could have an impact on the geometric settings of your vehicle. Using a 17mm spanner, release the holding lug nut on the tie rod end. If you don't have a ball joint puller, take a hammer and hit the lug nut hard just at the end of the threading. The ball joint should move away from the pivot. Only tap on the tie rod end pivot if you are changing the tie rod end, otherwise you risk damaging the threading. Paying close attention to the point of reference, unscrew the tie rod end, counting the number of turns necessary to extract the tie rod end. Using calipers, measure the distance between the lock nut and the end of the tie rod axle joint. This will be needed during the reassembly process to get as close as possible to the original settings. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto side and in the link in the description. Take the new tie rod end and unscrew the lock nut supplied with it. Put the tie rod end back in place, making the same number of turns as counted during disassembly. Put the tie rod end into the pivot. Put the lug nut provided with a new part in place, all while exerting a certain amount of pressure on the tie rod end. Tighten it using a socket wrench. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Screw the lock nut onto the tie rod end on the side of the tie rod axle joint. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle, putting it back on the ground before properly fixing them in place. During this operation, you will work on the steering system of your vehicle. Checks on tire alignment when carried out by a professional will guarantee that your steering system has been perfectly aligned and is in good working order. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.